So this truck's equipped with our stainless steel um, Rosenbauer NH55 pump, which is a 1500 gallon minute normal pressure pump. And then there's a uh, four more stages on it to create the high pressure side of the pump. I can use both sides simultaneously. So I can run my normal pressure outlets. I can run my booster reel, which is my only outlet for my high pressure. I can run them at the same time and, and everything, everything works good. My booster reel is a 600 PSI booster reel. It'll do 100 gallons a minute at 600 PSI. Uh, simple operations of the, of the pump. Kind of starts, it looks complicated because there's a lot of stuff going on there, but there's really only a few buttons on that pump that I need to use to get water into the pump and water out of the pump, which is all I need to fight fire with. <laughs> My operator will come back, he'll hit start. Pump will engage. Right now I'm on the hydrant, but it would it would open my tank to pump valve and prime the pump if my pump was dry or for some reason it, it, it needed to be primed. What I was going to go to that was my discharge selection to get water out of the pump. This is now all my discharges on the truck. I can select discharge one, so I got one, two, three right here. I got two options. I can hit full open, the valve will fully open, or I can gate the valve with the dial. So if I'm trying to match a pressure or trying to do a reduced pressure than my other ones, I can just slowly open that until I match my pressure. Move my next one. I can now fully open that one, or I can gate it open all the way down the all the way down the line. Once again, all my my pressures are now by my, by each one of my discharges too, just like I'd have on my normal pump my pump panel. All my gauges now they're just digital gauges next to that on that selection. I'm fighting fire now. That's all it was. Two simple buttons. Everything else on this pump panel is kind of ancillary functions. Control my traffic advisor, my lights on and off. My water source screen would be the only other one I might need because that's gonna that controls my intakes. Control my two six-inch intakes from here. Both my two and a half intakes are manually controlled. Also my tank fill, my recirculation would be on that screen. So our truck is also equipped with a Rosenbauer's direct injection foam system with a 26 gallon foam cell. I can have up to four different injection points on that. Right now this truck's got three, so I can select to have foam. If I select foam to here, both them discharges have it. This one's still clean water. If I select one to my, my, my booster reel, all the rest of them are clean water. Same thing on the other side, so I can, I can, I can customize where my injection points are and then still do clean water out of all the rest of my injection points or the rest of my outlets. Foam tank's filled through here, so now I can draft foam out of my out of my container into my foam tank. The other option that gives me is now if I'm carrying class A on there, now I can put a class B bucket there and it doesn't contaminate my system at all. So I can I can I can do both and, and no, no contamination worries. Are you able to do half flow meters? I do have some flow meter capabilities because when I'm in when I'm flowing foam Right up here on my foam, it shows me my GPMs of foam and my GPMs of water at that point. But that's the only part where I can actually see how much, how many GPMs I'm flowing. This side of my pump panel is just like I have now. This is my pressure governor right here. My dial to control my throttle of my pump. My RPM or pressure mode. So right now I'm in RPM mode, so it's going to maintain the RPMs I'm at now. If I select that, now my pressure is going to maintain at 114 PSI. Go back to RPM. These are my master gauges, my pump discharge, my pump intake. Right now I'm feeding off that hydrant at 60 PSI. Um, another question I get is, is manual overrides for the truck. I can manually open any of my discharges from right here. Like each one of these has a you know, a, a ratcheting wrench on it. You can open it up. Same with my intakes in the rear. My intake valves are, are just right back there. So instead of my valves being buried inside my pump compartment, they're all external here. I can open and close them right from there. Um, the other thing I can do, so my, my tank to pump valve is an air operated valve. This is my emergency actuation switch for that. So I can dump air out of that, it'll open my valve, and now I get, well, I get water to my tank. So up front, I got my, I got my turret up front. My turret's controlled from inside the cab right now. I do have an option for a remote control for that turret. That's wireless. That can mount mounted next to the pump panel on the outside. And I have an option. This is the extended front bumper where I can do another pre-connect up here. Full pump and roll capabilities. My pump is not connected to my drivetrain. It's got its own separate electric motor. So it doesn't care about speed, whatever. I can engage that pump, whatever. Come rolling on scene. I can hit an exposure with the turret. 
Um, one great benefit of our turret is that I can fully adjust the flow from inside the cab. So at maximum is 1,200 gallons a minute, and then there's quarter increments down. So I can go as low as 300-ish gallons a minute, anywhere up to 1,200 gallons a minute. So when I did this helicopter fire, I yeah, was down to 300 watch. gallons a minute, just because just, if you're going to be using tank water, you know, you don't want to be at 1,200 gallons a minute on a 500-gallon tank, because it's not going to take much. <laughs>